Passionate and persistent, each of these entrepreneurs began their own businesses hoping to bring change and create jobs. They are some of the entrepreneurs who sought advice at Branson Entrepreneurship Center. The selection at this center is thorough. Only those who have operating businesses are recruited. What we try and do is give them the fundamental skills to run a business properly. We essentially do it through training, but we also support the entrepreneurs by opening up business networks to them and by providing mentors for them. We actually don't fund businesses. Okay, so we, we partner with organizations that can assist entrepreneurs with funding. Vuisa Motlabani is one of the aspiring entrepreneurs who was coached to better market her online bridal shop. The center um, helped me because I was on the verge of actually quitting um, this entire business because I felt that um, I'm just now going down in failure. What they helped me, they helped me to be able to identify the right market for me to target that really made a change within the business. Nelewise Radebe approached the center in search of tips on how to improve her company. Today she is creating jobs, tackling social, economic and environmental problems while still making a profit. After the theoretical skills, Nelly Radebe was equipped to venture on her own and this recyclable waste has proven to be a profitable business that has created jobs for others. There is definitely money to be made in recycling. We have employed four people who also have a background of being waste reclaimers. They call them the trolley guys, they call them. We have now accommodated them to work with us as employees. They're getting a fixed salary for the job that they are doing. Creativity and willingness to take risks brought her down this path, but it hasn't always been easy. You know, it's not easy to be an entrepreneur. You sleep late, you wake up early sometimes. In a country where one in four is unemployed, these companies are proof that small firms can make a very big difference. Julie Shire, CCTV, Johannesburg.